Let's do 10 Swedish words how to befriend your camera. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin. Yeah. Yes, this video is about how to befriend your camera and become comfortable with the vlogging and star staring into the lens of the camera. And since this is 10 Swedish words, I'm gonna stick in 10 Swedish words or more into this video so that you'll get some knowledge of Swedish and you get some knowledge of how to be in front of the camera. Okay, so this setup is, you know, it's not the only guest because, you know, I'm in a studio, I have lights and stuff. And, you know, I've been doing this for about, I don't know, otta, nio or so. I've gotten quite used to it. Uh, I don't look into the screen anymore, as I used to did when I was younger. Uh, I look straight into uh, linsen. Uh, I would say, you know, not, the, the, the biggest problem people have with um, being in front of the camera is maybe others will hurt me. And that's scary because you know, it's, it's like you're doing something you're not allowed to do, something forbidden. And then, you know, what if they see me doing it? Because right now, I'm, you know, I'm in the studio, but I have, you know, these big fönster right in front of me. And people can see me. People can see me. Hello. <laughs> Obviously, they are uh, van vid, uh, that the fact that I am here uh, filming myself. So it's not weird. This is not a weird setting. But obviously, if your föräldra hears you, it gets a little weird. And when I first started, I was in Norway and I, I lived with a few other guys uh, in a, like a, you know, like a student apartment house. Uh, and the problem was that the uh, Vega was so thin, <laughs> you could hear me even, even if I parted it like this, they could still hear me. So obviously, you know, the thing I was saying was not something you would say, you know, to a friend uh, on your telephone. It, it, would, it, would, it was a weird thing, because I said weird things. I said weird things in English. Why would I do that? Uh, so my first tip is to uh, start filming when you are in some, because, you know, it gets a, lot, a little easier. But then also, in order for you to come out of uh, the fact that you are doing something that in the beginning is a little bit unnatural, you should just kind of overdo it. Do it too much. Be like, hoo, 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 and say to yourself, Martin, you're a neat guy. You're a neat guy. Anyone get that reference? It's from Venno. Uh, and obviously, you know, it takes time. It takes time to uh, become von with the fact that you're not talking to a person, you're talking to a, a you know, a dirt object. Uh, so I would say, be over the top in the beginning, be like, whoo, because then you get adrenaline up and you stop thinking about oh did I say that thing right or was I like this? Uh, instead you just kind of burst your energy towards the lens and you know that's the first few steps. Do it by yourself when no one can hear you and be over the top with it. Really like poof, be too much. Be too much. Alright, so thank you very much for watching this video. New 10 Swedish words will come out next Thursday. And of course, on Tuesdays, language challenges. Got a bunch of them filmed. Excited. See you next time.